12 hours from Salt Lake City, hopefully a bit less. Still have over three hours to look and get. Still got some driving ahead of me here. So I will be taking US 6 to Provo, Utah, and then we'll be getting on I 15 north from here through Salt Lake City. I left off my last video with a question the topic of twin flame connections as to what we can offer somebody. If we encounter such a connection, what do we have to offer somebody? What qualities can we bring into that connection? living a life of relative freedom already ourselves. I'm bringing this up because if many do feel, a number of people that do feel they do have these types of connections. Currently, personally, I don't really feel I have that kind of connection with anybody. Do I desire it? Well, it depends. It depends on God. Again, as I said, depends on what he wants for me. God is our best parent. We leave it to him to save ourselves a lot of problems. Soldier 7. As you can see, there is still some patches of snow left here. said I am receptive to the idea of point blank connections. If I were to encounter a woman who thought that of me, I would be receptive to that. That's regardless of whether they're in a relationship with anybody at that point in their lives or not, if they thought that of me. Uh, I would be receptive 
something to that. Just in the future, I did encounter that. I'm saying, I don't feel I have at this point in my life. Other than what I described in the past, where. Uh, I met those two women in the religion. such a person again, that is up to God. I believe God is the author of those connections. I may not ever encounter such a connection. It depends on what God, the ultimate parent, wants to be. He is the ultimate parent. Go along with whatever it is. He may feel again, as I said previously, that it's better for me to just be alone. I'm kind of feeling more and more that way as time goes on. Pretty much my discussion on that. We are now on the descent in Provo, Utah. Thank <laughs> you. 